Thank you. Okay. Uh, I was going to acknowledge the, a lot of the crew who are here. Uh, if you guys can sway or stand, if you want to say, welcome to the uh, VP. Anybody 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So could you talk a little bit to Sam and Julie about how you built the relationship together and and also how the relationship maybe has continued after the film finished? Her question was for Sam and Julian. Would they talk about the relationship that they built in the film and how that relationship has gone on past the film? Should I go first? <laughs> Um, for about a week, we just practiced the lines in a in a big room, and we just got to know each other and just connect. Because you know, it's um, Ricky and Heck are a big part of the movie, and we connected. And yeah, so we just connected and became best friends. <laughs> Actually, in the 
um, but actually I knew a couple of those guys, and they went, oh, see, I told you it would be in the movies too one day. <laughs> <laughs> but that was amazing, just to see that huge chase with tanks and stuff. It blew my mind. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that was our whole army, right there. <laughs> You guys were in the car, and then like they sort of set up the tanks and like the jeeps and stuff. And Hex says, "Break it up! This is not a game. That's the army over there." And Ricky says, "The New Zealand army." <laughs> <laughs> but then they helped us a lot, so we took that down. <laughs> Julian, what's he listening to now? You're a big hip hop fan. Um, hip hop. Um, I'm, I'm, I listen to it. I don't, I'm not into it. Good listen, man. Yeah. Um, I like it though. It's really enjoyable. But um, <laughs> yeah, I only really listen to like Coldplay or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What drew me to direct the story on employment mainly? What I'm going to promise uh, standing in front of the cello and But um, I really, like, I actually got involved in a script just as a writer many years ago for this film, and um, it's based on a very um, well known New Zealand book and by one of our like, great writers who was one of those hunter guys, um, a bit like Sam's character, very brash, he disappeared into the bush for like six months and then come back with a book. Um, and larger than life, it's like a quintessential Kiwi book. And everyone knows this book, and yeah, yeah. I just, uh, growing up with it, you know, it was something that a lot of people have always wanted to see as a film. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to tell a, a, a kind of classic, you know, one of those like, adventure tales, and again, something that wasn't sad. Okay, so I've told you it's time for uh, two more, so this gentleman right here. Right, no, no question. I learned a new word, and I think the movie uh, was fantastical. <laughs> thank you. Uh, anybody else? If anyone sees her hand, uh, I'll see you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Could you talk a little bit about the scoring process with the members of the Phoenix Foundation? And how it's about the music and the scoring process. Um, basically, we gave them the six dollars that we had left uh, <laughs> after shooting and said, guys, please help us and make music and film. A lot of the, um, you know, I was again, like, I was inspired a lot by like, John Carpenter's scores and stuff and, um, you know, again, like a lot of those older films. And, yeah, I really love that kind of, that style of music and it fits well with this uh, older style of filmmaking. Um, so, yeah, I've known them for a long time to score my other films and, they, yeah, they were really Okay, so um, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much.